Hey guys, I'm Midnight Siren, and today we are going to be talking about one of my favorite games, Left 4 Dead, and more specifically, it's Special Infected. For those of you who have played both games, you probably know that the zombies in the game were caused by a strain of virus dubbed as the Green Flu. It is commonly believed by the community that the virus is not a flu, but instead a mutation of rabies, perhaps engineered by CETA, which is the company orchestrating the evacuations, and accidentally released on the public. However, that does not explain why some of the zombies took on special attributes. In the game, there are normal zombies, which just usually melee you, rush you in hordes, but there are also zombies like the jockey that jump on the survivors and ride them, dealing damage, or the hunter who leaps from a distance, landing on the survivors and clawing at them. Valve, the game's creator, has not released any explanation as to why these infected are different from the others. There are, however, a few theories explaining these things that the games community have been debating over. The first belief theory is that the mutation affects genders differently. For example, the tanks, chargers, jockeys, hunters, and smokers are all exclusively male, while the spitters and witches are female. The boomers are the only unisex mutation. Perhaps it has something to do with levels of testosterone and estrogen that allow the zombie to transform into something more. I personally believe that this is possible, but I do not think this is exclusively why. In fact, I believe it and another of the theories that I will discuss later on are to gather the explanation. I also hypothesize that women may have more of a resistance to the mutations. The immunity to the flu is passed down through the father, explaining why there are not as many female survivors. For example, there are eight survivors between the two games and there's only two females of the eight. Perhaps the sensitivity to the mutation is also passed down through the father, explaining why the majority of the special infected are men. In the first game, the witch was the only female special infected, so it is possible that in the second game when the disease mutated, perhaps it made it easier for women to transform. The second suggested explanation is that the green flu is not one disease, but multiple different strands. Those infected by the boomer strand become a boomer, those with the smoker strand a smoker, and so on. Mutations tailored to the specific disease give them the special mutation. I do not believe this one, however, I think it is one disease reacting differently to a specific person. Which leads me to the third proposed reasoning. What if the green flu infects one's body and pulls from an ailment or an infection already within it? It pulls from it and alters it, mutating the zombie to fit it. The tank, which is a large, muscly zombie, it could, before the mutation, have had an overflow of testosterone. He may have even used steroids, causing him to build an excess of muscles even before mutating into a zombie. Once the virus was in him, it, it turned on him, causing them to grow at an exponential rate. The witches, on the other hand, could have several things that may have turned on them. Perhaps they were dealing with depression in life and, upon transforming into a zombie, still deal with it, causing them to cry and to lash out at anyone that messes with them. Maybe before their zombification, they experienced a trauma, like for example the bride witch having her wedding crashed by zombies. Or referencing their thin and bony appearance, they may have been dealing with an eating disorder, like anorexia. Jockeys are small and hunched over, so perhaps they had spinal issues in life. Maybe they had spinal sclerosis causing them to bend forward. Or maybe they even had a mild case of dwarfism in reference to their tiny size. Their manic behavior, um, which is crazy laughter and twitching, may be the cause of some sort of mental issues. For example, schizophrenia. Smokers could have had a disease such as emphysema as a result from their heavy smoking, which would explain why they wheeze and cough. Or maybe they had lung or mouth cancer, again because they're smoking, explaining their tumorous growths on their faces. Maybe the smoking caused a buildup of tar in their lungs in which the disease used to transform them into what they were, even to the point of excreting the smoke that they once inhaled. 
boomers were obviously overweight in life. The disease may have transformed their fatty tissue, causing them to look as they do, while the fat is turned into bile by the disease, while their enlarged stomachs are the perfect place to store it. Spitters, like the boomers, may be the result of a breakdown of fatty cells, turning into acid. More likely, they may have had acid reflux disease. The already present excessive acid in her body could be hypercreated and transformed into dangerous burning substance that is after she is transformed into a zombie. Hunters are one of the least physically mutated of the special infected. Perhaps they had no disease within themselves, and instead the cause of their zombie power is an excess of muscles. Similar to the tank, but not quite in extremity because of the fact that they did not abuse steroids and instead built it in normalcy. Perhaps that, with an already accelerated sense of balance and agility, gave them their pouncing abilities. Chargers could be the result of giganticism or elephantitis, in reference to their large and disproportionate size. Both diseases can cause enlarged areas of the body, like the charger's oversized arm. They could also be like the hunter or tank, with an extra buildup of muscle. More so than the hunter, but not as much as the tank. Therefore, they are balanced between the two. When they mutated, the muscle buildup may have transmitted into other areas of the body, enlarging his arm and legs, but leaving his left arm small and useless. This to me is what I believe to be true. I support this theory wholeheartedly. Perhaps this with the theory that the gender decided what kind of mutation they are is the real truth behind why the infected developed these abilities. Maybe along with their disease, the specific mutation can't affect a gender say like a man with depression won't become a witch because only females with depression can do such a thing at first the boomer mutation didn't work on women but as the disease grew women became susceptible to becoming a boomer i feel like these two together are really the most reasonable explanation behind the special infected so that is the theory for today. My next theory will also revolve around Left 4 Dead, but this one I really felt like I needed to do first because the next one pulls off of this. But I'm also planning on working on a bigger, less explainable theory that not only will I have to play more of the game and look for myself to perhaps be able to put it in words, but I've also been watching videos on it because people really research in this area. Now, I'm not going to say what it is. You'll find out sooner or later, but it's really exciting and really mysterious, just just like all these other theories. The, sp the respective game has had so many theories revolving around it, so I'll just leave that out there for you to guess what it might be. However, for now, I'm a nice siren, and I will see you next time.